What's up? We're going to do more tie-dye. That's right, birds. That's right. We have it all bundled up and ready to go. Look at that. This one's going to be a spiral. And this one's just a lump. And that, that, yeah, I, I'm not doing any patterns this time. Oh, yeah, and we're redoing this because they suck. Water for the soda ash. It's a part of it. Don't forget the step. This is too much. It's exciting. That's the jacket. Lots of pants. Got a vest in there. World can never have enough tie-dye. Ignore, ignore that and that. Just don't, don't look over there. Alright, soda ash, soda ash is important. It's gonna make your water pH different, you know. That's, um, is going to change the acidity of the water. Loosen up your fibers, let all the color get in there. And, you know, that's what you're trying to do, so... That's what you want. The correct measurement for soda ash is more. More than you think you should have in there. You think you got a lot going on. More, okay? I don't even know why there's water in this bucket at all. No, there's no, there's no actual limit, or I don't, I don't think there's a limit in, until you're, just, just put it in there, okay? Oh no, how much was it? I'm just kidding. Just keep putting a lot in there, okay? Just do it. Believe me. Trust me. Do it. If any of you guys are actually trying to repeat some sort of results that we get out of here. Good luck to you, and we are using Dharma Trading Company Prosun Fiber Reactive Dyes. I love them. I love them. They have always been good to me. And then uh, we are also using Jacquard. 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 Products. I got these at the local art store because I didn't have enough black. Okay, never have enough of the black. Never enough. I'm doing space patterns, which is a lot of purple and a little black, some blue, maybe some green, you know, throw a little red in there. I don't know. But I'm just going to be throwing it on there. So I'll show you what it looks like once I've dumped all the powder. And, um, you know, as I said, good luck to you. There it is in there. Soaking up all that good sweet soda ash. Excellent. You want to make sure it saturates for, I don't know, like 15 minutes, maybe a half hour, because that's how long it took me to get the ice. Whatever. Just let it go. I mean, you are soaking your fibers in acid that will slowly dissolve them, and, you know, it's bad for them, but, um... So the air conditioner kicked on, so that's gonna be in the background now. But anyway, we're gonna pull this out of the soda ash, we're gonna just randomly dump powder on it, and then we're gonna throw some ice on top of that. Yeah! And we'll be good to go. So, um, some of the black-looking stuff is black, and then some of the gray looking stuff's a purple and that's certainly purple and um well yeah there's uh no no telling how it comes out until it do so wait until tomorrow so this is the phase where you just are sure you messed up and you've ruined an entire laundry load full of clothing we'll find out tomorrow S see you then Ooh, almost forgot the ice that's that's important after you throw powder all over it dump a bunch of ice any way that pleases you. Uh, oh, um, oh, my fingers. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I don't want to touch the dye. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the ice step, you just pour it on top. So, that's pretty great. Now I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, arts and crafts enthusiasts. It's time to rinse our tie-dye out. Threw it all on a baggie. Let's take it to the sink. It's sink time. So we got the water running. We got the running hot. And we're gonna, we're just gonna, you know, a little, little rinse, rinse, squish, squish, rinse, rinse, squish, squish, off with the rubber bands, and then we wash. For those of you who care about water conservation, namaste. We only are gonna do so much in the rinsey, squishy phase. Then we're gonna just Fill the basin, swash them around, drain the basin, swash them around, and then once it stops coming back pure purple, we're gonna give it a wash. You don't have to go crazy when you're rinsing them out. There's, there's many stages and steps to the rinsing process. As you can see, thoroughly purple. Just gonna kinda mush it and mold it, knead it like a happy cat. Do you ever stare at a leaf? It's so beautiful. Actually, this one's kinda ugly. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Let me go over this while the sink's filling. Some of your stuff, like, 
heavy denim or whatever will hold on to the dye a little bit longer because it's got thick fibers that, you know, dye gets all up in there. Some of your things, like, I don't know, loose linen weave, that won't take so long to rinse out. Also, some of your colors will last longer. I'm gonna blame purple, just offhand. All right, some of your colors will stick in longer, some of your fabrics will be thicker, and, you know, it'll just take more rinsey loads, but, okay, here we are. It's still purple, but it's a little bit more translucent. So, looking good, coming along. I think one more will have it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So we mucked about for a minute here to get this water into a good solution of it, and uh, yeah, you can see you can see your fingies. That's good enough. Okay, at this point we got our rinse water drained out, so we're gonna pop them in the wash. But let's take a little peek, see, and see how they look. Okay, so once you wash them and all, they're you know hopefully we're gonna lose some more of this color. So this stage is not exactly true to the end product. Also, especially with darks, you know, it's really wet right now. So when they dry out after everything, they're going to, you know, maybe pop a bit more. But you can see that what once was trousers is now a mottled mess. It's basically ruined. So I don't even know where we're going through with the rest of this. But there you go. A mottled mess on what was once a quality vest. Absolutely ruined. Disgusting. Pure linen, though. It breathes. So this is one of the shirts that I was tie-dyeing for a second time, and it used to have this full back spiral. Now, that's gone, and it's just brown bluch. So, yeah. When colors combine to create nothing. Browning, you know, is a problem when your colors blend together. Oftentimes you just end up with brown. Another thing you'll end up with is your white space will just kind of get that little pink color bleed, so that's pretty great. Does that look like space to you? No, it doesn't. Look at those baboon cheeks right on the butt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice little, little Rorschach crotch, too. So with pants, you're going to find the Worst thing you can do is pee pee and poo poo stains. So I think we might have, I think we might have gotten those. Uh, all right. So again, ruined. Here we have the second of the two shirts that were getting dyed again. So this one, you know, was a failed back spiral the first time. I, you know, all right. I like this one. This this one shows some promise. I like where it's going. You know, it's being kind to me. One out of the whole batch that actually comes through. You. Yeah. All right, here we have what were once perfectly fine plaid golf trousers. Organic and geometric do not mix, so tie-dyeing stuff with linear patterns is most often a good way to just ruin clothing. All right, so yeah, 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 oh. And last and looking the least quality, we have probably the most expensive of the items we have here. The suit jacket. It's going for a spiral on this one. The rest of them, I was just, you know, drop and die. This one, we actually tried to do something. But all our colors are just about as dark as each other. So who the heck knows if we even got the pattern right? Cool. Well, nighty night. I actually need to put soap in there still. <laughs> the washer's off. You know what that means. Yeah, you can certainly... Give yourself all sort of roar shocks and designs with tie dye. I love how that kind of looks like Haunter or something from Pokemon. I don't know. But you generally don't want to give yourself butt cheeks, bikini shapes, or pee pee and doo doo stains. So that's probably going to need to get re dyed. The front side kind of has little, like, daisy do, like, short lines going on here. So. That's definitely getting redyed. Okay. That's one. Much better, much better. We got some spots on the butt, but who cares? It's decentralized or whatever. It's just craziness everywhere. So this, this is what you're trying to do. You know, if you're just trying to make things just purple with no pattern of any kind in mind. There you go. There's the front side. How about that? Looks great. Love that. Oh, aloha. Mahalo. Uh, I don't know, just 
I said it earlier with the straight lines and the natural patterns, you know, like the geometrics don't always work with the tie-dye. You gotta get lucky or be good, neither of which I am. A little bit of butthole action on this one, but that's kind of like underneath you, so that's not a problem. <clears throat> Here we got the front side. It's kind of cool how it's got like the V line or whatever going on. And I love how like yellow showed up. No yellow was used in the making of this. It's just a mystery of the dyes. Pink and purple sometimes get yellow, or black and pink and purple. All right, the vest. Big thumbs up right off the bat. Not even gonna, not even gonna waste your time. I love it. It's great. Now I need to move to California and learn to rollerblade. I can truly be fancy. There's the back for you. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's great. It's got like little eyeballs, like a goofy dragon. There you go. Here we have one of the ones we're sending through a second time. You know that big bleh turned back into the spiral. Not as bad as it looked. So I don't think this one's ruined. You know, I give it a, I give it a, a mahalo. You know, I like it. Not crazy about this one, but it does leave enough open in the back that, you know, you do like a spiral later on if you felt like it. That's pretty cool. Triforce says, what's up? Uh, yeah, I do like how the sleeves came out a little bit more vibrant and vivid than the main backspace, but that does give you plenty of room to go and do a design in a second batch. The heavy linen trousers. Pretty nice. No doo-doo stains. Again, no yellow or orange or red was used in the making of this tie-dye. Just a mystery of the dance. So, that's pretty neat. I think these ones came out quite stunner. And there we have the front. Oh, we tried for a little PP spot. We tried for a little bit of that, but I don't think that is so bright and or focused that it will be much of a problem. I think it looks great. This is dark enough. I could put some stars on it, make it space pants. Mm-mm, space pants. Draw some dots on them. Who knows, maybe we just leave it like this. The second shirt, I was re-dyeing. So, uh, it's, it's a stunner, okay? Look at it, it's great, it's colorful. It's got all sorts going on. You can actually kind of see the back sprawl because before this was really, really white space and there's just like a little touch of color everywhere. Would have been great if I had a before shot to show you. But look at it, you know, like not a, the most definitive spiral ever, though it is certainly there. I love it. Yeah, look at that. Uh, let the thumb hypnotize you. Hypno thumb. Hypno thumb. Hypno thumb. The jacket. Not the craziest spiral. It's here and it's just missing a chunk. Wish it were a bit more obvious. I don't hate it. You know, it's got more blue than I expected going on, but that's cool. Front side. There's the front. Bluer than I wanted. It looks pretty good. Fun fact. Fact. Pro tip. Pro pro fact. Tips for the pro. Uh, it. All right. Pro facts. Prophylaxis. Pro fact tip. Pro tip fact. The dye will only take on natural fibers, so like cotton, linen, rayon. Synthetic, you know, maybe viscous? I don't know. Anyway, synthetics, like polyester, which is often used for threading, will not take the dye. So you can see the lining here looks immaculate on a tie-dye jacket. We got, you know, I mean, because this is a cheap jacket, this isn't hand-sewn or whatever, but, uh, oh, I'm sorry, jacket. But you get this sweet pinstriping on the stitches. Makes it pop. Makes it hot. That's pick stitching. That's pick stitching. No, it's not. Looks great. Wow. Pretty good. Cool. Neat. Okay, so that gives you kind of a true look. It's been rinsed. It's been washed. And once it dries out, especially with it as dark as it is, a lot of these might, you know, get a little bit more character. You know, they might start showing some, like, smoky texture, vibrance. But the next step, 
and this is an important one. Namaste, eco-warriors. In the interest of conserving water, you can save yourself a lot of loads and a load of time if you just run some cold water, let them soak for a few days. Heck, you can go do it in the rain if you want. Time is your non-refundable currency. Nobody's paying you to get stressed out here. This is this is free time. We don't want to do a bunch that we don't have to do. And it's also efficient in that we're using less water. Because we could just be running the faucet going, going, going. You can rinse, rinse, wash, wash, and you'll still wear it that first time. And you'll wonder why your white shirt got a little, got a little messed up. Got some free tie-dye. Soaking it in cold water is going to be far more efficient than trying to wash and wash and wash. So another reason to not worry so much on the initial rinsing step. A lot of that dye that's half attached will just detach and join with its water brother brethren. It, it will become new. It's the way of things. I'm just going to leave this. It'll turn purple. It's going to be great. It's only been in the water for about, you know, 10, 15 minutes. You can see the water's already turning purple. First sink load of water is still about three hours later, and uh, I, I don't understand how, how they, they bled dye. Oh, I washed them. Oh, no. Yeah, so we're going to do another sink load of water, let them sit overnight. They're still leaking a little purple, huh? Like, I'm serious though, skip this step and you're gonna regret it. The summer camp counselor told me to just run it in a load of wash, maybe run it twice, you know, no. Soak it for a few days, you're trusting some high school student with the cheapest dye the camp would, could find. Okay. Well, now it's been a couple hours, about to go to sleep for the night, and we wanna tuck these in right by giving them a new sink load of water. As you can see, there's a little bit of dye still in them. Good morning, gamers. Guess what's purple again? Alright, we've left it from, what is it, like 7 in the morning, now it's like 2... I didn't look at the clock, I forgot. But, that's what we're looking for. You see that? There's a little purple in that water. Not so much though now. We could go for another soak. It would be even better after that. But at this point, I'm going to wash it. Call it done. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's almost done. It's almost done. It's almost done. I'm so excited. It's almost done. Ooh. So close. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty excited. Uh. That's what we're talking about. Oh. oh. All right, let's not break things. All right, it's done. So let's take a look at it. I'm just kidding. It's going to look the same as we just looked at pretty much. So we're just going to pop this over into the dryer once we take out the wet laundry. Y'all. Right. All right, all right. It's done drying. Oh, shoot. Um, I forgot to. Beep. Wow. Look at that, it's done trying. All right, let's take a look at this stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's good, that's great, these are good. Like where the powder like directly touched. That's what's up. There's the front side for you. It's colorful, it's nothing. Look at that, how about that? Like a, it's like a sweet like skull looking thing in there. It's so, it's so cool, it almost makes up for the baboon, but I think if we throw some glow-in-the-dark dots on this, make these some space pants, it's just not gonna matter. We'll, we'll see it in the mirror or whatever, and, you know, there, you know, this, this is the front. There you go. Shame, we did such a good job on them, except for those two pink dots. Oh, well. <clears throat> oh, yeah, look at that, look at that nebula-looking ink blotchy stuff. Yeah, you can call me Elon Musk, because I'm investing in space. Yep. There you go, there's the back. Very, very stylish. Denim. I'm kind of happy that brown blob loosened up. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy the spiral didn't just turn into a brown blob. Like, that's pretty alright. That's okay. A little orange, but you know, 
That's, that's what's up. You never know what you're going to get. Isn't that fun? Alright. And there we go. The last of the shirts and all. So bright. So colorful. Lovely. Eh. Goodbye. But wait. Where's the jacket, you ask? For those of you who remember. Did, did you remember? No, you didn't. Well, for those who are interested, it's on a hanger drying because I didn't run it through the machine like a like an idiot, like an animal. Every time I'm out in nature, I'm looking at badgers and moles and mole rats and they're running dinner jackets through the drying machine. Stupid. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that delightful? What's that you say? Tie-dye makes you look like a hippie? Shoot. Me? Hmm. Maybe you should decorate your tie-dye. Take it a step further. I recommend this fabric pen. I think it's great. And, you know, there's also fabric paints. You could go with a little screen printing acrylic or somewhat. You know, maybe start taking your tie-dye, drawing on it, make it, uh, oh, you know... Glow in the oh that didn't work at all. Okay, glow in the dark. So glow in the dark. So glow in the dark. Uh, yeah. Glow in the dark. It glows. It glows. It glows. It glows. It glows. Spooky. Glow in the dark. Glow uh, in the dark. Uh. Glow in the dark. No. Glow in the dark. You get the idea. I've never seen an image as beautiful as this wave. What was your inspiration? Oh, you know, nature. Wow, that'll get you uh, stared at by soccer moms. Yeah, that'll make you look like a wook. Uh, yeah. Name brands. Hmm, there you go. Oh, I didn't draw on that side. Oh, well. <laughs>